Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Before I start diving into today's topic, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and I really hope you will be able to take some time off and also to enjoy some time with your loved ones. So in today's video, I just want to share a quick technique on how to make some gold by selling some of the crafted items on the auction house without needing any professions. This is a very similar technique than another one I shared in Shadowlands where basically I explained how you were able to make some gold with the different legionaries without again having any professions. All you wanted to do was gather all the different materials and then just to find someone who could craft the item for you. And after that you could sell the crafted legendary item on the auction house for a huge profit. So here this is very similar and this time we're going to use the crafting order system in order to do this technique. So this is an idea I got from a video that has been published by another French YouTuber called Yexu. So a big shout out to him because without him I wouldn't have really thought about that. So I'm going to go through each steps and really try to explain how you can do this technique as easy as possible. So the first step is going to be pretty simple. All you want to do is go and visit the crafting order system. And then here you want to go through each of the categories in order to find some of the BOE items that you can then sell on the auction house. So here for the sake of today's video, I'm going to take this illusion as an example. Once you've selected your item, what you want to check is the value of all the different materials and then the value of the crafted item on the auction house. Like that, you will be able to see if you have enough margin to make a profit when selling the item on the auction house. So here, for instance, as I could see that this item was probably like around 15, 20k gold just to craft it and that you can then sell it for 100k gold on average on the auction house, I decided to select it because this is one of the items you will probably make the most gold with by doing this technique. Now, for the second step, all you want to do is just get all the different materials and then place an order. In order to place the order, you will need to decide on a commission. And here, I would definitely recommend you to put a pretty good commission just to allow people to have an incentive to actually craft the item for you. So for instance, here again, I think the materials were around 20k gold in total to craft one of these items. And then I added a commission of 10,000 gold. And like that, I was able to still get the item and then sell it for 100k. So it's still a very good profit, even with a 10k commission. So once you've placed all your different orders, you just want to wait for someone to craft them. And then you can go and check your mailbox. And here, if someone decided to craft them, you will receive all the different items, items directly in uh, your mailbox. So then what you want to do, you just want to get all these items and to post them on the auction house. And like that, you will be able to maybe find a seller and to sell these items for a huge profit. So as you can see, after not only a few hours posting these items on the auction house, I was able to sell all of them for 100k gold each. And keep in mind that really with the commission and the like full price of the material, I spent maybe 30k gold per illusion. So it's a really good, like probably 60k gold profit on average for each of these items. And this is again something that you can do on any of your characters that has access to the crafting order system. So this is something very easy that anyone can do. So if you're playing on a low pop realm, it might still be interesting to do that with some items, especially the toys, the pets, and other items that are not too difficult to craft. But for some recipes, it's going to be pretty tricky for people to get them and to then start crafting these items even through the crafting order system. So then I would highly recommend you to try and get one character level 60 on a high pop realm where you can then do this technique there as well. So for instance, what I did was I simply created a drag tier and normally in not even half an hour, you will be able to reach level 60 and to then have access to the dragon Isles where you can directly go to Valdraken and you will directly have access to the crafting order system. So this is a good way if you want to do that on a realm where unfortunately you don't have a level 60 yet, but where you know the market will be good, you can decide to do that. And of course, for you to have gold there, you can either try to like just transfer some of the gold that you have on one realm on another one, or try maybe to like sell some pets and everything on this realm, and then you will be able to start to do all these different activities there. 
Now, when it comes to all the different items that you can actually craft and then sell for a profit using this technique, there are a few categories that I want to mention. The first one are going to be all the different toys. So here, if you go in this section, you will see that you will be able to craft a lot of these toys. And again, all of them can then be sold on the auction house. So this is something you can try. Normally, it should not require too much gold. So you can definitely craft them and sell them for a pretty good profit, especially if, again, you're playing on uh, like low pop realm where maybe not a lot of people are selling these toys yet. So the toys, I would say, are going to be really a good way for you to make some gold when using this technique. Then, of course, we're going to have all the different battle pets. So the battle pets are also really interesting. And again, normally the like value of the different materials and the value of the pet on the auction house should be pretty good and you should be able to make a profit. The ones that are going to be a little bit tricky are the jeweled uh, weltings, but all the other ones are pretty easy and you can find the materials easily. After that, of course, we're going to have, as I mentioned just before, all the different illusions. So all these illusions are really good and especially the primal mastery because the recipe is extremely rare. And so not a lot of people are able to craft this uh, illusion yet. So if you can try to do that with this one and most likely you will be able to make a little bit of gold by getting some of these and by selling them on the auction house. Then after that, we're also going to have the different containers, especially these two blue bags. As you can see, the sell rate is really good and you can sell them for quite a lot of gold on most realms. So definitely try to do that and hopefully you will be able to make some gold with these bags as well. Then we have some of the gems, but for the gems, it's a little bit more tricky because basically I would say most of them are not going to be like valuable enough for you to cover the cost and then make a profit. So for instance, if I take this one that, as you can see, has a pretty good uh, like value, still you will need three Awakened Air, one Awakened Order, and one of these in order to craft it. So most likely you won't really make a lot of uh, profit. And it's going to be pretty similar with a lot of these different items. So these ones, I would really not recommend to spend too much time on that. Then you also have some of the items enchantments. So some of these uh, spell threads, some of the armor kits. Uh, these ones can also be interesting, but again, it really depends on how much they sell for on uh, at the moment. So really just check first the value and maybe you'll be able to find some that could then be sold for a profit. And then you have like a few more items. For instance, you have some of the trade goods that could be interesting as well. But again, I would say that these ones are really going to depend on the value at the moment. And unfortunately, most of them are not going to be interesting enough for you to make a huge profit using this technique. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold by using this technique. I will be back very soon with more guys and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all again a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Bye.